In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to change graphics in Minecraft on the PlayStation 4. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to easily adjust the graphical settings if you are playing Minecraft Bedrock Edition on a PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, or even Xbox or Windows 10. As you can see, I am recording this video on my computer, but don't worry, everything that I'm gonna say here is going to apply for the PlayStation 4 version of the game. So, you will be able to change the video settings and the graphical quality of the game if you are inside of a single player or multiplayer world, or you can even do this process directly from the home screen before you join a world. Regardless of which option you pick, all that you have to do is pause the game and then go into the settings. Inside of the settings, you will be able to scroll down until you reach the video category. For the most part, these are the most important settings. So, brightness isn't really going to affect your performance. This is mostly related to how bright all the elements on screen and everything is. So you can change this if your display is too dark or too bright. And then these options here are all going to be personal. You can consider turning off screen animations. I cannot guarantee that this is going to give you that much of a graphical performance increase, but you can try here. And then the field of view, which again is mostly personal, but some people have reported differences in graphical fidelity and performance when changing this. The most important settings are all going to be here underneath the field of view. So you have stuff like view bobbing, which is going to change how your camera reacts when you walk alongside the item that you are holding on your hand, camera shake when you take damage, and then fancy leaves, fancy bubbles, rendering clouds, beautiful skies, smooth lighting, and fancy graphics. Now, these options here are all going to affect performance. By far, these ones that I've disabled here are going to impact you the most, especially smooth lining. If you are holding a torch or another item and you are walking around in the dark, it is going to dynamically light the space around you. So if you change that, it is going to help you increase performance because the lighting won't be updated as you walk around holding a torch or any item that emits light. So it is up to you if you are willing to change this, but if you do, you are going to notice a big difference. So if I place down an item that has lighting effects, you can also notice how the edges over here are all blocky. If you change that option again, the lighting around the block is going to be much cleaner and it is going to be a smooth transition. So it is up to you if you are willing to change this. Like I said, it is going to affect the graphical fidelity of the game, but you can get better performance if your old console is struggling to run Minecraft. So consider changing these video settings and you will be able to change the graphics in Minecraft Bedrock Edition on any console, including specifically the PlayStation 4. You also have these options including the render distance, which once again is a big one. If you are having a lot of trouble running Minecraft, considering lowering, lowering the render distance is going to help. I hope I was able to help you on how to change graphics in Minecraft on the PlayStation 4. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.